Howdy, this is Lemmy with Revzilla TV, here to drop a little science on you today about the Biltwell HB seat for Sportster. The HB seat is a great option for those of you guys who are looking for an aftermarket replacement saddle and you're not trying to break the bank on it. Maybe you have a cut up bike or maybe you have something you're kind of throwing together. This is going to be a good option that's not going to kill your budget. This is designed for Sportster riders, 04 and up, rubber mount guys. This is your saddle. You are Biltwell's target market. This installation is cake. We have a joke around here at Revzilla on the one to three beard scale. Seats don't even ring in at a whole beard. They're like a mustache or a goatee. They're just not very difficult. One fastener. Before we get right into the insides of this thing, since I have your attention, I'm gonna tell you a story. I was on Gypsy Run 7 recently, stumbled out of a tent. Uh, I had been doing some work the evening before. I was feeling terrible, and I saw one of the Biltwell guys wander out of his tent, and I cruised over to him. I beelined for him, because there is something that's been bothering me since I have first seen this saddle. And the question I had for the Biltwell fella is, what in God's name does HB stand for? And he filled me in very quickly. He said, oh, that's for Honey Badger. Now, you folks who have watched this before know that at Revzilla we love Honey Badger, because Honey Badger don't give a so, now let's talk about the seat that I've gotten my story out of the way for you. First things first, you can see this thing's covered in marine grade vinyl. It's going to hold up to the daily rigors of riding. It's, it's not going to just fritter away like some of the cheaper saddles. You're also seeing this cool diamond stitch in here. you got a couple different finish options available on this. Diamond stitch looks awesome. They use this white thread that really sets it out, brings, brings out the stitch pattern. It looks great. You can see the profile of this seat, I'm sure. It's nice and low. It hugs the lines of the bike. It does look really good. However, this is not gonna be your full-on touring saddle. But if you're riding a Sportster, you're not really a full-on touring guy anyway. Rolling over to the other side of this baby. It's not particularly difficult down here. Minimum level of foaming in here, and you've got a nice plastic pan, gonna keep rust at bay. As we said, this is a good economy option for those of you guys who are not trying to break the bank. Now, I know I told you that this thing fits all rubber mount Sportsters, and it does. But still, confirm fitment, use our bike finder, check your bike out, get in the habit of doing that every time you're on RevZilla.com because we go to great lengths to make sure that the stuff you see is going to fit your bike. Installation, as we said earlier, really is a cakewalk. You're going to see the one front tab at the front, going to slide in your frame, and at the rear, you're going to use the point of attachment uh, with whatever is on your stock motorcycle. You may have something back there like a bolt. You may have a Phillips or a flathead point of attachment. You may also have a Torx bolt. Depending on who's replaced what over the years or what year your bike is, it's cake, though. Basic hand tool should see you through a seat install. You really should not spend very much time in this at all. Don't take my word for it, though. See what some other folks who have put these on their bike think about this puppy. If you have questions beyond that, you can always get a hold of us. You can get a Gear Geek live, 877-792-9455 on the telephone, or you can always drop them an email, cs at revzilla.com. I'm Lemmy. I'm out of here.